No, I felt good. I, yeah, as I said, I've done all the right things all week. I've um, trained and, and done everything I needed to do. And uh, yeah, I knew it was going to be an awkward match out there tonight. You know, I, I, I knew Ito would play um, the second singles. Um, it was just a matter of whether they put Soita in um, instead of Sugata. I, I think that uh, Soita and, and Ito are the two best players in the team, even though the other guy's the highest ranked, or was at the time. Um, Ito's definitely probably the most dangerous player out of the three. So I, you know, I played him in Tokyo and I knew the kind of dangers that he was uh, you know, going to possess out there. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, as I said, I had a tough match in Tokyo with him, and uh, I was down an early break in the second set there. And uh, he, he's a great ball striker. He hits the ball extremely clean from both sides, and he's able to hit winners from nearly anywhere on the court. Um, yeah, he serves in patches out there, and it was a matter of me, uh, you know, putting him under pressure, and especially on his second serve. And I felt like I was able to do that from the start. I was able to get into his service games and, and put pressure and then his second serve started to, you know, I got a few double faults out of him and also a couple of, uh, you know, softer second serves, which was good. So, you know, out here in, in this stadium and with, you know, a great crowd and, and playing in front of my home country, then uh, it's a lot easier for me to go out there and, and compete and still know what we're playing for as well. You know, at the end of the day, the, the big pitch is to get, try and get back in the world group for next year and, and that's where we feel like we belong there. Um, we feel like that we've got a team that can do it at the moment and, and hopefully I can uh, you know, lead the boys back into that, you know, that position. Yeah, well, obviously I think uh, if I'm in the team, then you know, our team is as strong as it can get. So, um, yeah, I know, you know Luch and Gooch and, and Carsten were very keen for me to play, obviously, and... Uh, yeah, that was one. Yeah, you know, the, one of the main reasons, probably, why it was on clay as well, because it helps my body out um, to not be changing surfaces back and forth as well. So, um, you know, the, the boys obviously are, are keen for me to get back out there and, and play, and they feel like we've got our best opportunity if I'm in the team. And uh, you know, I think we've got a few more options if I'm in the team as well. You know, obviously doubles wise, depending on what happens on always on the first day. You know, first things first, we want to get back in the world group, and um, yeah, a lot depends on the draw, though. In, even in the world group, you know, if you can get past that first round, then you you put yourself in the world group for the next year anyway, where you don't have to keep playing that playoff match. So, yeah, you know, that's in, that's an important start just for the you know for for us to get going. Yeah, you know, I try and lead more by example of you know, what I do on the practice court and the way that I go about my business. You know, throughout the week, you know, I leave. Obviously, Fitzy knows Carsten and his game extremely well, and, and Todd's dealt with um, Carsten. So, in terms of actually what he's got to do out there on the court and, and analysing the opponents, um, yeah, they probably know a little bit more that, about that side of it. Um, I, I think, you know, all the younger guys and includes Carsten, you know, the way that I go about it and you know, lay it all on the line day in day out on the practice court. Um, yeah, hopefully, some of that rubs off.